डियर स्टूडेंट्स मै माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर पी डी पंथ प्रोफेसर ऑफ जियोलॉजी इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जियोलॉजी एंड करेंटली डायरेक्टर स्कूल ऑफ अर्थ एंड इन्वायरमेंटल साइंस इन द सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स ऑन जियोलॉजी एंड इन्वायरमेंटल साइंस लेटर स्टार्ट फ्राम सेंसिटिटाइजेशन ऑन लाइन स्लाइट डिजास्टर्स दिस टॉपिक हैज बीन चूज एंड पर्टिकुलरली कीपिंग इन कंसिडरेशन various landslide hazards basically occur in hilly areas and particularly we all belong to hill areas like uttarakhand and we every year particularly in the rainy season we suffer from these landslides so this talk is basically to sensitize our students and learners about the occurrence of the landslide and their risk management so coming to the landslide we all know the landslides is the rapid mass movement of soil mud and on rocks downhill due to the pull of gravity we have seen generally landslides occur in more landslide occur in rainy season because of the addition of the water in the slope forming material makes the slow forming material more heavier and the cracks are if filled with water they behave like a lubricant and the downfall movement of this slow forming material begins basically with very fast if you see the photographs on the right hand side this is a massive landslide that occur in the imphal seen over here and which has covered a yeah, damaged last part of this road and too many calamities also occurred in this area so land there are various type of landslides as mentioned you can see in the point 2 3 and 4 so we we know there are various type of landslides basically if rocks are falling we call rock falls if debris is falling we call debris falls if the fall is at a curvature we call uh sometime the landslide yes sliding material etc there are many types of landslide which is not the important part of this lecture because ultimately whatever is the type of landslide it always creates a disaster and we have to face all these things so we know what are the causes of the landslide very important one is the most widely seen or widely observed cause of the landslides is heavy rain or prolonged rain means a long duration of rainfall or a large amount of rain what what you call the cloud burst in a very small period second is tremors and shakes that is the tremors observed at the time of earthquakes a yes, shaking of the earth surface these are two very important causes majority of the landslide i can say more than 90% landslide are caused by these two other than these two causes we have most important one is the deforestation if you cut the forest if you cover if you remove the ground cover forest cover so we have more chance of having uh we call sliding of the slow forming materials or more observation of the rain water on the slow forming material uh, because of this there will be increment in the slides second is in case of deforestation other very important is basically in the remote areas or we call in travel areas what is the general practice of the people they remove the forest from a particular area they burn it and uh, they use it basically for what you call for agriculture prep practices then in next year they shift to the other side which we call basically the jhum cultivation ya yeah, we call uh, these bad practices of agriculture okay second is querying in rock mining that is very important in case of hill area when we remove the slow faring material basically rocks from hill slopes for any building purposes for road construction and when we go for mining of small uh, economic minerals for example in uttarakhand we have the 
magnesite and talc. If you go in Bageswar district, you go in Pithagar district, you will get many rock mines are there. They are removing the talc from there and we get small, small minings and they are basically falling down, dumping down and sliding down. And we can see they are basically not so big landslides, small landslide, but definitely this is also a hazard to the uh, local people at a small level. So th this is the, uh, we, we can say the example of a man-made landslide. This, this example is taken from, we can say, Balianala Nanital. What is here? The downflowing stream, the Balianala is cutting the slope at the base with the phenomena of toe cutting and which is overlain by the load of the local construction of the road the houses etc and this is continuously sliding since last we can say early 90s till date there is a continuous sliding of landslide in Balianala and most of the engineering universities departments they are acting over here but still we are not in a position to control these landslides so now these there are very these are very important features what we should think before a landslide occur means we should know about the area we need to know about the area whether it is a landslide prone or not so what is very important first is we should have a ground assessment of our property wherever i want to purchase a land i want to have a construction or government want to have any public utility construction so we need to judge this property whether it is landslide prone or not that is very important if you live in a hill risk high risk area an evacuation plan should be prepared means suppose any construction is being done in a large number in hill area suppose some colony is being developed there some hospital is being de developed there or some we uh, can schools yeah any government building any public utility structure is being built there so it is very essential to see the what is the risk factor of landslide of this area and to avoid this to reduce this risk we should have plant tree uh, to see the plant trees and other types of vegetation that would help to stabilize soil on the slopes of the property so if there is any such chance of having the uh, pre presence of any creeping landslide etc so what we can do we can have a plan of plantation of trees and the vegetation that can restore the down slope movement of the slope because of they will have the roots the deep rooted plants are more important in such areas and they should not be uh, we call imported from other sites maybe the plants of the local area because their growth rate is very fast and they easily I can say they easily accommodate with the local ecology and climate and the growth rate will be much better. Other is look for the changes to your surrounding that may signal the likelihood of landslide activity. Very important is the tilted trees, the tilted fence, tilted walls or swelling of the slopes. So if you see these three particular factors so we will be able to learn how much risky is the area. So if, if in any, any area it is an old landslide area and slope is not stabilized, so what you will see, the trees are tilted, they are not vertical. We still see the fences are not straight, they are tilted or twisted. And even the walls, you will see there is crack, there are cracks in the walls, there is swelling in the walls and in some places the walls has fallen down. So when we are walking along a such area which is prone to the landslide, what is very important? We need to be alert. See, we need, need not to be afraid, but we need to be alert because any time the, the stones or the rock may fall down and the hill even fall down. So we need to be alert instead uh, being busy in some other part. So it is very essential to be uh, there alert about the landslide occurrence area. So if you see in the right hand side, a flow chart is given there which shows what we should do 
whenever we go in a particular area for example if you are traveling in a hilly areas so we may consider these parameters they will certainly help us in the safe driving and safe life and suppose the landslide has occurred we are staying in an area and landslide has occurred then what to do during these landslide season or during the area where during the period when landslide has occurred so what it is very important if you are inside of a building stay inside don't leave your home until it is officially safe to do so that is very important we need not to be very much worried need not to be havoc or we should rather report to the local authorities and they will come to rescue us and second is if you are outdoor try to get to the nearest high ground in the direction away from the path of the landslide suppose we are walking outside we are walking around the roads and we can see the landslide is occurring so what to do so instead going to down slope we should go in nearby area and up to up slope because there will be less chance the stones and the slow forming material is coming up so that is very important we need to be aware of these parameters suppose we are traveling along a river bed then be prepared to leave the area immediately if there are high signs that a landslide has occurred at height upstream don't try to take your belongings just leave the area as fast as possible because whenever a landslide occurs it blocks the river flow 